Hey you guys. So I'm on my way in. I have two more. I managed to finish one early and I had some nail trim appointments cancel, which was just fine with me because I was able to come home for a minute and kind of uh, take a second to like swallow everything because like so much has happened in like, I don't know, a couple days. Uh, so it's just like been so much, um, but like good things though. It's, it's just been like really awesome, but it's just like, whoa, just so much, you know? Um, so I did decide to put in my notice at my job. Um, I just kind of had this like realization of like, okay, like all of these people are reaching out to me and all of these things are happening. So why am I, <laughs> sorry, I'm waiting to get out of my driveway. It's taking a while. But like, why am I working for somewhere that like literally doesn't value me at all? Like, see, the, the problem is, is like, they don't know about dogs at the place I work. So they don't, they know I groom dogs. They know that their customers are happy with my grooms, but they don't like to them, they can easily they, they think like, oh, we'll just go out and find another one, you know? Well, first of all, it's just like really hard to find like animal professionals that are, um, you know, I, I like, you, I, I don't want to like be mean, you know, but it's like, it's not the job for everybody. It's, it's hard to find people that are patient and willing to deal with really difficult dogs. Um, and I know like, like, I understand it's going to be really hard for them to replace me, but I don't think that they realize that at all. And that just kind of confirms to me that it's the right decision to leave because I know I'm worth more than that. Um, and I'm just, like, honestly offended <laughs> that they don't realize I'm more than that. It's like, you know, even if, like, because they don't understand the grooming world, they, they wouldn't know. Like, if I told them, like, oh, Barkley shared one of my videos, they wouldn't know who Barkley is. They'd be like, who cares? You know? And it's like, but you own a dog related business. So you should know who Barkley is and you should know who Groomer to Groomer magazine is. And all, you know, all of this, like you should be involved in this since you're in this business. Um, but that's really like, besides the point, I'm just kind of so glad to not kind of, I am so glad to just be leaving this in the past because it's definitely in the past at this point. Um, I'm going to be working through, I think October 4th will be my last day. I believe that's two weeks from today, which is Friday. Um, and I, uh, I will just kind of be figuring it out from there. Um, I'm not going to be able to open out of my house. I'm, um, pretty disappointed, but basically the zoning board will not approve it because not that they have an issue with the with my business, but if they approve the house for the the zoning and then I move out, that means they have to let any business that wants to move in there be able to open there. And there are people, you know, next door. Like we are like I'm I'm very close to my neighbors. So, you know, it really sucks, but I do understand that decision. I'm frustrated because this was um in my specifications of buying the house was that I really wanted to open my shop there so my most important thing was that I'd be able to open the shop on my property and um I'm not able to do that so I'm frustrated for sure um but I'm gonna figure something else out and I I'm not worried about it you know like I'm I like kind of knew talking to them because like the the lady that I talked to about zoning was super nice in fact she's really wanting me to do mobile grooming and she was like you know we used to have one in this area and she had a bunch of clients and then she just decided to stop servicing this area the place that she was from was about like 30 to 45 minutes from from here um so anyway she decided to just stick closer to her house as far as mobile grooming so now there's no mobile groomers in this area um so she was like, you know, I have dogs, my mom has dogs, I have cousins with dogs that all want a mobile groomer, and, um, you know, there's a lot of people in this area that are also wanting one, but we just don't have one. So she was like, I could send you a lot of clients. So it's not, like, I'm not mad at the zoning board. I mean, really, at this point, I can't be mad at anybody. Like, I'm a very big, everything happens for a reason kind of person, and, um... Yeah, I mean, so I'm going to figure it out, and maybe I will go mobile. Um, maybe I'll find a storefront. I don't know. I There's a lot of options at this point. Um, 
personally, I'm, I'm leaning towards mobile because I think it would be obtainable, especially now that I'm like kind of seeing like what my worth is. I'm understanding I could charge a lot more than I do because I mean, literally I have Shizu's that I'm doing full haircuts on for $30, you know, like, cause I just, when they first started coming, I didn't know what to charge for them and I didn't feel right charging full price because I was teaching myself everything and basically I felt like I was learning on their dogs so I was cutting them a really good deal but now I've learned all these things I've gotten a lot better and I've never raised prices um so I know I'm going to like have to raise prices when I leave and I know like first of all um you know the clients are I'm gonna do my best to get to the clients that you know I I talk to regularly but a lot of them are going to probably just have to find me so I'm gonna have to promote, promote myself really hard and I'm not worried about it I'm really not because like I said I'm gonna have to raise prices so that will make it a little bit less stressful on me I can take more time and like schedule myself better so I'm not like having dogs booked on top of dogs you know what I'm saying and um it's all it's all gonna balance out like I literally I that's like the least of my concerns um and that, that's also why I'm just like, I know this is the right decision because I'm not worried and you would think I'd be scared right now. I just bought a house. I have bills to pay and I just quit my job and I don't necessarily have anything lined up. Um, but at the same time, I just know it's going to work out. I know like the wagon tails vans, like I know you put down like a down payment on them and then you can pay them off monthly. So I want to talk to my financial guy about doing that, seeing if I can get a loan to put the down payment down and then, you know, figure out monthly payments on, and what I would have to charge and whatever. And, you know, I'd like to have my boyfriend work with me and help drive me around, especially if I'm going to be working on big dogs or anything like that. Like my regular clients that I know, like I'm not really worried about them, but you know, I want to have his help sometimes. And I'm used to driving a mobile van because I've, I spent a lot of time driving one, um, previously at a last, uh, another job that I worked and yeah, so I'm, I'm kind of leaning towards that right now, but I don't have anything completely set in stone right now. I'm kind of just like, I feel like the universe kind of like put me in this spot that I have all of these options available and I feel like I'm kind of challenging the universe back and I'm like, all right, so what do you want me to do? I'm leaving it open. You know what I'm saying? If it works out that I get a mobile van, then I'll get a mobile van and I'll do that and that'll be, I'm sure, a lot of fun. Um, I mean, it really wouldn't be much different than what I'm doing now, you know. I would miss my coworkers, but I'm hoping, like, maybe I'll grow fast enough that I can employ them one day, you know, because I love them so much, and I have some really good coworkers, and they, they really have figured me out. I wish that I was happier with the people that employ us. There's literally a helicopter flying, like, on, <laughs> over my car, like, heading the same direction as me. Like, how? Hello? Um, so funny, maybe not funny story. Um, my stepdad, whenever he was going through all of his stuff, the only place, like he, he had a, like to just briefly run over all this shit that happened, like in his months worth, worth of stuff. And I'll talk about it one day, but <laughs> that is, that's a rough one. Um, but basically he had a heart attack. He needed to get a permanent pump put in his heart. And the only place close to here that does that is in Columbia, South Carolina. They are about, um, so about like two hours from here, something like that, two and a half maybe from where I'm at. Um, so they had to airlift him there to get his pump and, um, the helicopter ride, you know, before insurance and everything was $50,000. So, um, I work right next to the helicopter that took him to, um, Columbia, and every time I see it, I'm like, oh, there's Dwayne's helicopter, and that's, like, I, I don't know, it, like, makes me laugh, but then also, like, telling that made me really sad, <laughs> but, you know, uh, anyway, helicopter story, wow, like, that one kind of, you know, this kind of stuff, like, happens, though, like, and this is also, like, <laughs> the stream of conscious kind of videos that I do, this is, like, that, this is how my brain works, like, that's, that's just what popped into my head, so, anyway, um, so that's what I think of when I see that helicopter. It's a, a like, AnMed helicopter, and it's blue, and it has, like, a heart on it or something. Um, but, yeah, 
$50,000 to ride in one of those. So, you know, make sure that you, like, take care of yourself so you don't end up having to do one of those because that's, that's some expensive shit. Um, but, yeah. Anyway, uh, <laughs> lighter subject. Um, I'm really excited to just kind of see where this goes. Um, I know I'm, I'm going to have a lot of clients that will follow me. Um, and clients that will try to find me and I'm gonna put myself out there enough that I can find all of them again um, Fortunately, I have some good ties with some like really amazing people and I know That they'll help me and I'll probably get this off the ground and be way booked way more booked than I can probably even handle <laughs> by like way before I know it and can I say something that's really crazy because I'm like just somebody that's so like with the universe and everything I said um, a couple months ago, I literally said, I was like, I want my business by October. And honestly, it, it kind of looks like that's going to happen. So that is freaking crazy. Um, also, I don't know exactly how many details I can really release about this. So I'm going to just, uh, just say, I am going to be at Blake Hernandez, Hernandez's, that's a hard one to say, Blake Hernandez, his weekend retreat that he's having, and it's like a really hands-on seminar, um, but it's like, a, it's in Virginia, it's like a full weekend, I still have to like read more into it, um, but anyway, it sounds amazing, I'm gonna be there from October the 25th through the, through, blah, blah, through the 27th, so if you go in, I am so excited to see you there, and I, I'm so excited I get to go because, like, honestly, I wanted to go really bad, but, like, <laughs> Hershey was, whew, Hershey was not easy on my bank account, y'all. It was, whew, that one was, it was very expensive, so, um, I didn't think that this would be possible, so I'm so excited that I'm, I'm going, and I get to see you guys there, and we're gonna learn so much, and I'm so excited. So yeah, if you're going to be there, let me know, uh, and I can't wait to see you and meet you, and yeah, um, and if you haven't signed up yet and you were thinking about going, you should go so we can meet up and hang out for the weekend, I'm just saying. Alright, I love you guys. I'm um, pretty close to work, so I'm going to get off here, um, but yeah, I love you guys. Um, I hope I see you guys in Virginia, October 25th through the 27th, um, and yeah, I love you guys. I will see you very soon. See you in my next one. Bye!